All right, good evening. Now it's time to cue the plumbers. Uh, we are here to uh, reveal uh, the, the next release of uh, a Firefox add-on called Lightbeam. And uh, so my name is Alex Fowler. I work on privacy and policy at Mozilla, and this is my colleague, Deeth Elza. So I'm just going to say a few words to uh, kind of set up uh, what Lightbeam's about, and uh, then Deeth's going to give you a, a, a live demo, which we really have fingers crossed will work. So I think as you heard from Mitchell and from Camille, this is really a watershed moment for privacy online. Um, and not just in the context of government surveillance, and, and yes, we should have a shout out to our colleagues and uh, friends who are in Washington at the Stop Watching Us uh, rally and the tweets are flying and pictures and so forth of all the great banners uh, going towards the Capitol. And in fact, they're going to be handing 500,000 um, letters uh, to uh, folks on the Capitol today, so it's a pretty exciting moment. Yeah. Um. And, and I'll just say, you know, on, on, the, on the topic of government surveillance, the way that we learn about what's happening, it's rather unfortunate. It's not observable. It's not transparent to us. So we have to have the courage of uh, whistleblowers to bring light to how uh, that type of uh, tracking and surveillance is happening on the web. But that's a critical part of the dialogue. But what we're going to talk about tonight is a different form of online surveillance and tracking, the commercial uh, third-party web. And uh, so the tool that we built, Lightbeam, it's an add-on for Firefox. And what it does is it shows all the connections that the browser makes to first and third-party sites uh, online. And the goal here is to really shed light on how, these, how we interact with these sites uh, not just for our users, but to bring that information together in an aggregate so that developers, uh, the industry, publishers can learn more and understand the, the, the diversity of, of actually how the web works. So um, I, I, I will just say one other thing. I'm not sure if Atul Varma is here. Atul, are you here tonight? All right. So this, uh, can you stand up for a moment? Um, I just want to recognize Atul because the spark for this project yeah. Uh, it's, I, I think it was a, 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 weekend, a, a weekend project, uh, probably lots of coffee and beer involved, and, uh, and he, he, he uh, put together uh, the first uh, kind of tool that, I, for me, when I first saw it, I felt like it was a Wizard of Oz moment. I felt like that curtain had been pulled back and I could see kind of the, the true inner workings of the web. So that was really the, the genesis. Then with the generous support of a uh, grant from the Ford Foundation, we took that uh, kernel of uh, idea and built it out more. And so re-releasing re it as Lightbeam is our way to bring it to a wider audience. So with that, I'm going to turn it over to Deeth to do a demo. The Lightbeam watches what gets loaded without your consent. So when you visit a site like Amazon, we have the circle is Amazon, where we navigated, and the triangles are other sites that it has loaded. Now we can also go to uh, The Guardian. Now we can see they have one site that they share. And let's pull up one more. All right. Now we're starting to see that they share several of these triangles. OK. Now I want to, uh, I want to show you what it looks like after a week of data. That's a week 
A week of data. Now that can be a lot to sort through, so we have filters. That's just today. The last 10 sites. And just the last thing loaded. Now what we've done with it to help you sort through this data is in addition to being able to filter it, we have different ways of viewing your data so we can see over the course of your day, this is gonna take a minute because we have a lot of data. While it's loading this, there we go. So over the course of your day, this is the sites that are loaded. The, again, the circles are the sites you loaded and the triangles are the, the sites that they load. So you can see which sites were loaded multiple times through your day and what third parties that they've loaded. And we can also get a list view. Which gives you a chance to do a deep dive into your own data. And in the list view we can also um, choose to, to select sites and block them. We can choose to highlight them in the graphs by watching a site. And we can also hide a site. If you know, for instance, that there's a, a site that you're okay with, you can hide it from the graphs. From here, you can also choose to, to save your data. You can pull it into any program that you want. It's a very simple file format. It's documented on GitHub. All of your data is uh, exportable. It's all transparent. It's all portable. And uh, finally, you can, you can choose to share your data. And we've built a, a public database that you can share data that's stripped of personal information. It goes to building a public database of this type of uh, connection data so that we can use that for research, privacy researchers, data visualizations, and building the next versions of, of Firefox and policies based on real user information about these types of third-party connections. Thank you. So, thank you, Deep. Um, what I'd like to do is invite you, there's a session tomorrow, what I'd like to invite you all is to participate in this process. You can get access to the add-on at fire, um, mozilla.org slash lightbeam. You can download it, play with it. Uh, you can uh, contribute your information to our aggregate database, and then we really hope that you will hack it, build it, make it better, uh, make it your own, uh, and uh, we get a, a more community engagement in this topic. So thanks very much.